Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here, another season to Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath Global Conquest. Whew, man, we've gone through one season with the Global Conquest campaign as the Global Defense Initiative. Had a lot of fun with that one, really enjoyed how that turned out. Gonna go this time as the Brotherhood of Nod. Ooh, let's get everybody on hard difficulty. We're gonna go with random AI personality. Now, for Global Defense Initiative, we won with the secondary victory objective, meaning acquire 33% of the land area under your under your area of influence. That's a lot of words. It just means really build a lot of bases. Um, as a Brotherhood of Nod, it's a little more particular. As our secondary objective, we need to raise 24 cities to the full red unrest level. Or, of course, as a primary objective, we could eliminate all GDI and screen bases. Fair enough. Um, usually the secondary objective happens way faster than the primary, so we're going to aim for that. Um, I did a lot of explanation during the first season of this uh, campaign style, so I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of explaining how stuff works. We're pretty much going to get right to the action and really get started with the gameplay. And I have to push the play button because this information wasn't already displayed before. Fantastic. So let's take a quick overview of what we got for resources, bases, that sort of a thing. Uh, since we're the only team or faction, however you want to phrase it, that has cloaking technology and, uh, yeah, anyway, we're the only ones who can cloak our bases, so everything we see is everything. So we got a GDI screen and nod base in North America, one nod base in South America, a screen base in Africa, screen base in Europe, accompanied by a GDI base in Northern Europe. Uh, we've got a base in India. Uh, there's a GDI and screen base in Australia and a GDI based in the far northeast. Okay. Certainly for options, we're going to go path of least resistance to get our finances started. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start working on Africa or South America immediately. Start building a base there. I want to make sure we've got a good threat level in Europe. There's a lot of cities there, and we've got to get 24 of them to maximum. And then, of course, Asia is mostly unprotected, aside from that one GDI base. North America is also very tempting. A lot of good grouping there. want to make sure we emphasize that. So let's at least get started with what's most important. We want to upgrade our base upgrade tier base here. Tier. That's going to give us good city control. I'm going to upgrade base tier upgrade here as well. Tier. We can upgrade base tier one more time or we can build an MCV. At this point, building an MCV is going to be far more expensive than I believe it's worth. Upgrading base We're going to upgrade tier. base tier there. And let's see what else. I think we're going to call that turn one. Okay. Pretty simple turn. Not a whole lot going on. With Tier 2, we've acquired the Raised Mark of Cain. This is a strike force for $1,000, summoning in our area of influence. Same thing with GDI. And then Vertigo Strike damages an enemy strike force. Same thing as the Orca Strike. So we've got a little more area control. We've got a better income coming in. Just want to take a quick look around, see who's expanding. GDI is expanding. I don't see any new bases, no armies as of yet. There's an army right there. If I can can't select it. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and see what we have for strike forces. Strike force. We're going to go ahead on the attack and see if we can take out that screen base. What I'm looking for is something good, but probably not too heavy, heavy meaning expensive. I kind of want some quick strike forces if we can muster them. So let's just take a quick look at what we've got here. Uh, for tech 2, is, that, is this all we have for tech 2? Wow, yeah, Tech 2 or the money. So, take a quick look here. For $2,000 more, I'd feel a lot better about that one. Hmm, okay. Let's just go with the strike group. I think we can work with that quite nicely. And I want to get right in his freaking face. Okay. Vertigo Strike Force. I can see an army right there. Why won't it let me select it? Nah, that's okay. Whatever. So, 
uh, want to make sure that we start to assert dominance there as quickly as we can. Right now it's the very, very delicate spot of whether we do a whole lot of upgrades or we start building new bases. Now, how much is it for our MCV only? Strike force. Actually, I believe we'll have to actually create a custom strike force because my MCV only doesn't exist for Nod. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Brotherhood of Nod, MCV. That's all I want. No, 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 get that out of there. Oh, there we go. That's all I want. And MCV only. But um, bum. Perfect. Easy pickings. Can easily snipe up those three cities right away. Uh, pretty happy with this. First few turns are going to be quick, considering I'm not doing a whole lot of explaining. Okay, very good. This base has not evolved past the first phase. What we're going to do is we're going to emphasize containment. We're going to use our vertical strike force. Hopefully we'll take out their MCV in that battalion. We're going to go ahead and attack immediately. Hard turtle. That's going to be a little difficult considering they're going to emphasize base defense, but I'm pretty confident we'll be able to route them out. Get this MCV moving as quickly as we can. And how much is it for an upgrade? 8,000? Okay. I don't think we're ready for all too much more at this time. We're going to go ahead and skip a turn. We're going to save our credits because I want to make sure we can emphasize a base construction. So they'll move and then one more turn for a new base. That's going to be expensive. Also, I want to make sure we can either get an MCV out in Europe or an MCV out here of India. I want to make sure we keep at least one or two bases secure and then maybe build one even out of North America. So let's see where this turn takes us. And didn't get the MCV, that's okay. Okay, we are the first ones to fight in this campaign. Let's go ahead and give it what for, shall we? Uh, they have a fully functioning base. We've got a lot of quick units. Hopefully we can get in there and run some disruption tactics. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to have to get our stuff together and really, really hammer them. Uh, okay. Not too bad. We carry a Scorpion tank. Exposure detected. Tank division. Construction complete. Oh, for God's sake, get moving, guys. Advancing. Oh, we'll go this route. Building. Scorpion tank. Construction complete. A lot of infantry. I need to micromanage. Let's get out there. Tank division. Scorpion tank. New construction options. Building. We have them. Construction Hold complete. Your high. Hurry. You're not backing down. Yep. I knew they'd start bringing the heat. Bring it in quick. Enemy base sighted. Rocket infantry? No, you guys just stopped because I gave the engineer orders. Awesome. No match for the Holy crap! On the move. Yep, time to retreat a little bit here. If it moves, kill it. Tend to play a little defensive. Can use a turret to our advantage. Some of these garrisonable structures to our advantage. Uh, can't afford that. Okay, good. Nope, come on back. Back it up. Units are more expensive right now. These civilian structures can go to heck for all I care. Okay, so the good news is I have enough stuff to pr provide a defensive. The bad news is I don't have enough stuff to attack. Are you serious? Well, I'll destroy that in five seconds. Lost. Construction complete. Building. Let's get out there. Okay, come, come back. Forward. You guys are absolutely no good to be dead. Let's get out there. Let's reposition just a little. Training. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. We've got the rockets. Okay, gonna see if we can head up in these civilian structures as hard as we can. Oh, the turtle always gives me such a pain in the butt. 
Soldiers, take it! They're nothing! Hit them hard! You guys want to get them? At all? We got this handled. Gosh, that was risky for no reason. Insufficient funds. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can see everything. I see some good weakness points. Not emphasizing a lot of defense. They emphasize their $10,000 budget strictly on unit creation. Which is good. It buys us a little bit of room here. I see some really good engineering opportunities there. Oh crap, I built an... Oh, I've been building MCVs! Ah, uh, what a rookie mistake. I didn't want a freaking MCV. I wanted a freaking harvester. Frickin' frickin' frick frickin' fricks. No wonder why that took so long. Uh, Alright, well... Of all the rookie mistakes I just made and I'm now flustered about. I can help you. The Brotherhood has entrusted me. It is time for Well, I'm not perfect and that just proved it. Go ahead. Yes, of course. And of course they're gonna take that stuff first. I'm listening. I see We have them! Alright, here's what I want. No, I'm gonna lose them. Got it. Oh, okay, I need to think for five seconds. I don't think I've ever been this flustered before. Do you require? So I only I need one of you guys up there, because all of you other ones aren't going to do me any good. I wouldn't mind some Air Force to take care of that tower. Moving. I need an Operations Center. Moving. Can you hit that? Oh, fantastic. Let's work together. Unit under attack. We got this handled. Unit promoted. They're nothing. No match for the Scorpion. Not backing down. Forward. And offline. Not the floor here. New construction options. Totally online. I would deploy that MCV, but I definitely don't need a separate build queue right now, and I don't have enough money to expand. Construction you can complete. Trust me. Yes, I can. Go ahead. It may be a value. Our base is under attack. New construction options. Our building has been captured. F and F, really? What's the plan? Let's get out there. Venom craft ready for the captured. No, come on back. What is it? Gotcha. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of when I didn't spend that much money in defensives. So we're going to do that right now. Looking clear. Take him out. Oh. And they got a harvester out of that. Freaking jerks. I'm listening. I know the way. Venom crap ready for lift off. On patrol. Closing in on him. Confirmed. We're going in. Okay, this is what I should have done in the first place. Some very simple anti infantry defense. Doesn't have to be rock solid. But anything that will protect you against engineers, definitely worth the cash. And now that I'm fully aware that I'm an idiot... <laughs> man, if I win just on the fact that I built an MCV when I should have built harvesters, I haven't defended all my quarters the way I should. Ugh. I don't feel good about this victory, I'll tell you that. Okay, well, if we're going to have any sort of an air force, we might as well get the tech lab and the actual proper defenses up. Get back here. No, come back here. You're on guard stance now. That's a lot, lot, lot of infantry just sitting around there. Think you guys can get them? Huh? Thank you. Sure thing. Ready for lift off. I would bother with an engineer to capture that, but nine times out of ten they just sell the structure anyhow. So, we're gonna dump this. Build a new refinery. The foundation must be true. Uh I'm half tempted to sell my MCV just to deploy this guy. We can try it. Go ahead. Confirmed. There now. All right, time to do some harassment tactics. No air defenses at all. 
wow at all. And this is a turtle AI? Oh, gorilla. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. So let's see. Let's aim for production. Since the Skrin don't have any low-tech infantry that can hit the air, once we take out that vehicle plant, the rest of their base should pretty much be ours. Tiberium is power. Keep on him. We're trained right on him. Okay, I really need that laser capacitor upgrade. This is suck city. Of course. Ooh, Don't lose them. Glad I caught that. Oh, okay, deep breath. What did we learn? I need to pay attention better. <laughs> Good lesson. We could easily mop up this whole base with Air Force. How's it looking? I'm not at all worried about the infantry. We're just gonna go power plants. Let's just get all this queued up here. And then production. We should probably go for the actual MCV itself, or the drone platform. Uh, but I'd rather knock out their power at the moment. Do more damage over time. And like I said, we have Air Force. They have no defenses whatsoever. We've got this pretty handled. How's it looking? ready for liftoff. Ready for liftoff. Patrol craft. Confirmed. I don't see any gunwalkers. I don't I don't Venom see any nothing. Freaking cakewalk. Now, before we get all too crazy, let's make sure we rebuild our forces. Because I think once we take out all these structures, we'll just win by default, so. Let's go ahead and make sure we rebuild our army. What is it? Gotcha. Unit promoted. Closing in on them. And then the harvester, and then we're just gonna come right over here and cause a bunch of general havoc. Harvester under attack. Tiberium is power. Yes, more Tiberium. Beautiful claws. We gather all we can. The scorpion's ready. We need more. We've got the rockets. Fields of green. There's They're not going anywhere. anywhere. Patrol craft. The rockets are ready. Fire going up. Fire going up. Let's go in the ring. Fire going up. Unit promoted. Fire going up. Go ahead. Good cleanup. I love these things. These Venoms are great for infantry cleanup, light vehicle cleanup. Perfect. Send them to aggressive stance. Aggressive stance, right? Yeah. Send them to aggressive stance. Let them go to town. No problem. They're especially effective against these turrets that can't even hit the air. Tons of good cleanup. And all they have is, is their drone platform. We're going to do a little more damage here. They should wipe out every unit of theirs except their MCV. Let's go on a raid. And what we've got here, I believe, is the refreshment of our entire army. Uh, what are we missing? Uh, did we get buggies? Or bikes? We're going to build some bikes. I don't remember if bikes came with our army or not. Tiberium is the answer. This bike's ready. Yes, more Tiberium. This bike's ready. Keep on him. And I think that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this guy off the map. Call this a victory. This bike's ready. Looking clear. Heading there now. Scorpion tank. Go ahead. This bike's ready. Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Good start. Good start to the campaign. Liking it so far. And not a single lost unit. Total annihilation on their side. Now, since they have stuff. Not really a full army, I'm not too worried about it. 
I don't mind if they go up straight up against our base. I'm not too worried about defending it. I do, however, want to upgrade base tier. I think that's pretty expensive this early on. What we are going to do is we're going to get a good chunk of this Tiberium right away. Initiating base construction. Excellent. Initiating base construction. Excellent. Upgrading base tier. I think that's how I want to do that for this turn. That gives us good overall growth. We're not going to hit tech 3, I don't think, on the base tier. Uh, I think we're going to play at level 2 for a little bit. But let's see what that does for us. Oh, okay, they want to attack my army. Uh, is that the only conflict? That is the only conflict. I'll have this no problem. What I'm anticipating is, the, well, I need to know his AI type before I can draw any conclusions. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Let's get out there. We are going. Okay. Tank division. Let's go for a hunt. We're ready. Tank division. On the move. What's the plan? Enemy units sighted. Scorpion tank. Unit under attack. We're ready. And what we're gonna do? You? We fight for now. Where they at? Construction Rockets complete. ready. Set up in there. New construction options. Division. Building. Try to use some of these structures to our advantage. We got this handled. We will not be overpowered. Now they die. The good thing about now is we've got a really solid mix of units here. I see. We got this handled. Attack. Some good anti-infantry, some good anti-air. We got a nice mix. And we're just going to go through building by building, get all this crap cleared out. Did we get everything? I really want that EMP control. Hey, look at that. I didn't build an MCV this time. I'm a genius. Those damn things are so squirrely. I can help you. Yeah, why don't you pick that up for me, would you, buddy? That would be great. You didn't under attack. Dude, we've been under attack this whole time. It's called war. Get him. Thank you. EMP control is going to be very handy, especially when we get to attacking. It is time for It'd be really cool to shut half of their party down. Okay, now that we've got a very strong economy. Training. Let's get out there. Tiberium exposure. Unit promoted. Tiberium exposure. Oh, okay. From the spire. I get it. Forget those civilian structures, they're just waiting us down. In position. Uh yeah, don't go too close to that either. Get right in there. Unprotected, undefended, get get right in there. Okay, in this case, we need to emphasize production kill because I'm not in the mood to deal with a crap ton of tanks. Actually, what I could do right now is easily just chunk out all of my army, just get it produced right away. And this is a great tactic for Nod that I found is power plant, refinery, war factory, two harvesters, another refinery, you have a really good... What the hell are you doing? Well, you're dumping off your credits, so I kind of don't care. Uh, this is a great way to really get a bunch of hardware slapped together quickly. Can I get him? Thank you. Uh, the tactics I just used are probably a little more effective if your enemies are closer, uh, when you're slapping out that many units that quickly, but this has worked out great. Even if we lost this army right here that we're attacking with, we've certainly decimated our enemy and locked him in, and look at this, we got a whole nother boat of stuff we can use. The Scorpion's ready. 
In position. That's beautiful right there. Oh yeah. Fire! Take care of their drone platform and they'll be absolutely paralyzed. The scorpion's ready. Really? Really? Let's get out there. In position. Alright, here we go. You're going. Got it. Let's take them on. Training. Gonna build a whole nother Training. battalion of guys. We're ready. They're nothing! You got the rocket. Advancing. Hit them hard. Ready. Scorpion tank. You got the rockets. Man, so many good not units. Such a beautiful sight. Good mix of infantry, good mix of vehicles. I'm really happy with this battalion choice. Clean out their economic production, considering I do know they have a vehicle plant to the right, which we saw. But want to make sure that they don't get no more money. Yep, and they sold down, so all they have is a power plant now. I'm very sure we've replaced our army and some by now. If we have it, then I I don't know. <laughs> Scorpion tank. The Scorpion tank. Get that guy. Tank division. Begin the Thanks, buddy. We're ready. Paint the town red. Oh, silos needed. Drink. Oh. Operations generation. Pretty cool. Perfect. That worked out great. We're going to be emphasizing a lot of hit and run or quick strike tactics when it comes to Nod. A lot of light units. A lot of them have really good speed. A fair amount of armor, and as long as you mix them properly, use them right, pretty unstoppable. The only thing that's really going to give us a headache is if GDI uses a lot of Steel Talon, or if we come up across a lot of Turtles. That's going to give us a hard time with the Quick Strikes. Either way, excellent work. Now, unfortunately, ion control detected. of course, somebody, of course, GDI built an Ion Cannon. Now, the unfortunate thing is, since I gave the order to build a new base, he was, uh, this battalion was interrupted because of combat. So it's like an interrupt if you've ever played Magic the Gathering. It stops them from doing whatever they were going to do because now there's combat. They can't build a base while they're under attack. So we're going to continue with our battle plan here. We're going to take our action phase and then we're going to call this an episode. So new base construction there. Upgrade base tier there. We want to start really seizing these geographical locations. Constructing strike force. Uh, I have no money. <laughs> I got a little carried away on that. But that's okay. I'm happy with how that turned out. Uh, for the next episode, I think we're going to emphasize Europe. Uh, also, of course, South America. And let's see how far we can get with North America. I think if we can start grabbing those larger geographical locations, we can start adding some points to our secondary victory objective and really get a good turnout for the rest of the episode season here. So thanks for watching, guys. going to call this one here, and I will catch you next time.